for you. You will live to remember today's service. Can you just wave to your neighbor by your left, by your right, by your front, by your back and say, my neighbor, you are welcome. Hallelujah. What God will do for you today. Throughout this year, you'll still be enjoying that testimony. Hallelujah. We're going to pray this prayer to prepare our mind for the service. Isaiah 48 verse 17. Isaiah 48, verse 17, he says, Thus says the Lord thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord thy God that teacheth thee to profit, we lead thee by the way that thou should go. He's going to lead you today in the name of Jesus. That's why we're going to pray this prayer and say, Father, by your spirit, give direction to everyone in this service. On the way to profit in the name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, we decree this morning. Lord, by your spirit, 
gave direction to everyone in this service on the way to profit, 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 in the name of Jesus. Show them what to do. You say you are the Lord, that God, you will teach us the way we will make profit. Father Lord, by your spirit, give direction to everyone in this service on the way to profit, 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 in the name of Jesus. Everyone present in this service, Lord, give them direction. By your word, give them direction, the way they should go in the name of Jesus. Show them what to do, how to make profit by this service. It shall be a memorable day. They will live to remember to this service. In the name of Jesus, by your spirit, give direction to everyone in this service, the way to profit, 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 the way to profit. Lord Jesus Christ, by your spirit, 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 give everyone direction. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Psalm 126 verse 1. Psalm 126 verse 1 says, It will say, When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Praise the Lord. And then Luke 21 13 says, I said, It shall come to pass. It shall turn to you for a testimony. That's why we're going to say, Father, in this service, turn every trial and body in the lives of attendees into a testimony. Whatever you have a, as a problem, we turn to testimony for you in the name of Jesus. Let's raise our voices and speak and talk to God. Heavenly Father, we decree this morning by the service today, turn every trial and bodies in the lives of our, uh, the attendees into a testimony, into a testimony, into a testimony. Whatever they carry as a problem, oh Lord, let it turn to testimony. Every trial turn to testimony. Turn to testimony. Turn to testimony. Turn to testimony. Turn to testimony in their lives in the name of Jesus. Every trial, oh God, turn it to testimony. Turn it to testimony. Turn it to testimony. They are not living down with the same problem in the name of Jesus. Those problems shall be turned into testimony. Turn it to testimony. Turn it to testimony in the name of Jesus. Everyone present this morning, oh God, whatever is their problem, whatever is their trial, turn it to testimony. Turn it to testimony. Turn it to testimony. Father, we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Are you sure what you have prayed? I want you to shout a big hallelujah. Somebody that is happy to be in God's presence this morning, can you make a loud noise? Glory be to God. With a joyful noise once more. Join me as we welcome PBI Drama for their ministration. Let's celebrate Jesus with a clap offering. <laughs> Hallelujah.
It was Sunday afternoon after church service. Pastor Gabriel was very weak and stressed out for he has just finished fasting and prayer for some weeks. Afterward, he was hungered and in need of food. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Decided. That that noise must be from here. Yes, it's here. I'm here in our church. Here. Yes. Please, please, please go and check who are they. Okay, sir. I'm it's coming back right now. Woman, what's wrong with you? What's happening? What's happening? Where is he tied up? Eh? Uh, what happened? Uh -huh. Oh my God! No, this is this is impossible. The devil is in hell. Why is he behaving this way? Eh, what's, what's happening? They are mad. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Spirit of madness. I can't understand. Put it inside 20 million. No, 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 no. This, this is not happening. This is not happening. Oh, the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus. Hey, Pastor. Pastor. Can you see what is happening? Be peace. Be peace. This is madness. I've right? heard all. Okay, sir. Hey. Uma, hey. cry no more. Oh. In the name of For the Jesus. Lord will fight his battle in today the name and of you Jesus. hold your peace. Yes. Pastor Payne, Sir. this kind does not go except through prayer and fasting. Hey. Hey. Uma, oh. my Bible tells me in Isaiah 59 verse 1 hey. that the Lord's hand is not shortened. Amen. Amen. My hands are too heavy. Amen. Amen. To try me in faith. Yes. I believe in my God. Amen. That has to sing this song. Yes. His hand will come upon him. Amen. Amen. Try me in faith as to sing this song. Yes. Kakaya. Akaji Ovane Mema. Alwe Buveya. Kene Ruari Mema. Atata Aka Kaya Aka Jehovah Nebema Aka Akaya Aka Jehovah Nebema Orwe Bubeya Kene Ruari Nebema Isi Kendu Kena Degi Atata Chapter 16, verse 17. That this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast a devil and they shall speak new tongue. See, my people, I don't care to know. I don't care to know what I've got you here. But believe me. Get that the God of this commission. I speak to your life from this time forth. It Amen. will be good report. In your morning, it will be good report. Amen. You are waking up, it will be good report. Amen. If you believe, Amen. Because if you are blessed. With that drama, can you jam your hands together for Jesus? <laughs> Testimonies are clear evidence to prove that God is doing mighty in this commission pay setter and he has turned so many people's life around. And that is why in our midst this morning, there are people that the Lord our God has done wonder in their life in a wonderland. And they are here to give glory unto the Lord. Please join me as you put your hands together for Jesus. Why these people come forward to give their testimony. Jennifer Onoha. Sister Jennifer Onoha. Bra Peter Clifford. F. Young Patrick. Brother Sunday Sabbath. Please put your hands together for Jesus. He has done wonder in their life. Nancy Onwan. 
Sister Helen Imen Alfred, Sister Lillian Okaka, Brother John Udubo, and Sister Comfort Ezebo. Please come forward. Your name, what God has done, straight to the point, no story. Hallelujah. Amen. First of all, I want to thank God this morning and thank our daddy and mommy for the privilege and honor they have given me to stand before this poopy this morning to thank God for many things that God did for me throughout these two weeks. In fact, it's like I went on a journey to heaven and now I'm back. I really give thanks to God because everything in my life has a, as in 360 degrees centigrade upward movement. I want to thank God. My spiritual life, everything, I don't know where to start from, but I know that God really touched me these two weeks. It's in my prayer life. Now, if, since that day that we started the two weeks program, every night I wake up to pray. I don't do that before, but I thank God that God gave me the grace to do that now, and I pray to continue every day of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Even in my marriage, my marriage is sweeter now. It's like I just got married yesterday. It's so sweet. In fact, I don't know where to start from. And all the pastors that God used, I want to say thank you. God has really used them to bless my life. I want to thank, in fact, I don't know how to thank God. The time is short, but I want to say, Father, I thank you. Your name, what God has done. I'm Brother Peter Clifford. Uh, praise the Lord. I want to thank God first for the privilege, for the direction to bring me to PBI institution. Secondly, I want to thank our daddy and mommy and all our teachers and the general congregation. Uh, formerly, I was carnally. I was living carnally. That is why the devil robbed me from all, all what I had. I later realized that lack of wisdom my people perish so that former was perish secondly i understand i came here i was full i was demoralized thought confusion despair and even frustration but when i came i found god here Not only find God, it quickens my spirit as I align myself with the faith system. In fact, that first day of my lecture, I told one of the teachers that I saw fire catching all over me. Even in your body, I'm seeing you. I see, you're looking at me, fire is, you know, the thing is penetrating. So, after that very first lecture, in fact, my life has been transformed. It repositioned me to totally depend on the Holy Spirit. Because without the Holy Spirit, our direction are in vain. So I want to encourage you, if you have anybody toiling around, let them come. Let them come. God will give them all that they have lost or whatever they need. Secondly, it, the teaching helped me to reposition my family. And I, I understand that the word of God it's a cream of solution. It creams, the word of God is a cream of solution to my soul, which I encourage every of you as a believer, always read the word. Secondly, I want to thank God for having sustained me, for the encouragement Pastor Russell and my co-student and the entire congregation. Thank you in Jesus' name. Go straight to the point, your name and the testimony. Short. My name is Patrick Ethion. Actually, the Lord has done so many things in my life. I'm a bundle of testimony. Actually, I just have two testimonies. The first one, actually I was having this spiritual attack. Every night I sleep, before I get up, I will be on the bed. And I noticed it wasn't ordinary. But I thank God, doing this Bible school, the Lord revealed it to one of our pastors. And after teaching, he announced it and asked us to pray. And I did. When I get home in the night, I wanted to sleep. 
Because since I gave my life to Christ, I've never prayed in the night. But that day, my spirit asked me to pray. So I stood up, I prayed. And after the prayer, I slept. When I wake up, to God be the glory, it was done. And secondly, I want to thank God for the gift of the Holy Ghost. I've been looking for it for a very long time. But during these two weeks, I got it. Praise God. Praise the Lord. My name is Sunday Sabbath. Actually, I'm a new convert here. I'm not up to three months. I want to thank our pastor, our bishop, and most especially all the times goes to my, my mentor, Pastor John Ola. <laughs> I'm so grateful to stand in the presence of people. Actually, when, he, when I met him, the day I met him, he was not even praying. He was not preaching for me. He was not, he was not even talking to me. But after everything, he just turned and looked at me and said, I want you to be in church. I thought it was just, I thought maybe, I said, I will not be. He said, you will be. So I started coming. The, like third, three Sundays or four, he said, I want you to attend the Bible class. I said, wow, I don't have money. He said, don't worry about the money. So in fact, to, sum, to summarize everything, I went through the Bible school free of charge. And I have been fully recharged. <laughs> Praise the Lord. My name is Ima Alpha. I want to thank God for the grace he gave me to enter the Bible school. I'm in this church for a long time. I get mine to join the Bible school. I did think of English and how to write and to read. <laughs> my mommy say, come, come and hear. One of my friends, where do I see it? Say, come and hear. I say, okay, I'll come and hear. I come. I thank God. He helped me to hear. <laughs> Praise the Lord. For the teaching where well, our teachers teach us for type by type, when I was praying, I prayed for what didn't consign me. I don't know where for start, but for Bible school, they teach us that is not how to pray, make the God to answer you. It shows us how the Jesus tell the disciples to pray in the Matthew. I say, God, thank you. I was doing I could do for the school fees before I knew. My bishop paid for me. That he God bless you. I thank God for all my lecturers for how them show us way to serve God. We, we didn't say to come church is finished for that. Pastor Daniel tell us that it's not only to come church. You will serve God for your body and your hand. Our bishop tell us how to serve God, pay what tight. Pay for the man of God, for God, our parents, and the poor. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I thank God to give me grace to do that. I thank God for mommy. He teach us for the marriage. No, that one no consign me. <laughs> I will tell the young ones and my children. Praise the Lord. My name is Nancy Owa Kenneth in Dubisi. Mommy and Daddy, I thank you for this wonderful opportunity. When we started this Bible school, it's not easy, but come to an end is very sweet. It's not easy. Since when I marry, I never buy a gift to my husband. But when mommy teaches us that we must buy a gift, even if you don't have the money, you have to buy that gift. I bought the gift. I brought the gift. Mommy and daddy blessed the gift. After them blessed the gift, after communion, I went back to my house with my husband. We reached house. I entered the house to present the gift, what I've never did in my life. How will I start it? I hold the gift. Then my husband come out. I said, honey, I have a gift for you. He said, you have a gift? I said, yes. Ha, it's a face in history. 
I said, that's it, oh. Then I gave him the gift. He collected the gift. He embraced the gift. He prayed over the gift. He prayed for me. So when we were sitting down, we was this thing. Then he brought his phone out. He said, baby, I said, daddy, say, please, inside this car, choose anyone of your choice. So when I choose the car, I say, honey, thank you very much. All my lecturers, God will bless you. Thank you very much. Praise God. My name is Comfort Isezobo. My name is Comfort Isezobo. I've come to return all the thanks to God for making me be a partaker of this blessing in this BBI. The day I started, I came with the AVI because they broke into my shop and stole some of my things. But after that first day and the second day, God healed me. I said, may his name be praised forever in Jesus' name. And I want to thank Bishop and I want to thank everybody that make it possible for me to be. I say, may his name be praised in their life forever in Jesus' name. Praise God. My name is John Uduebo. I want to give God all the glory because this program has impacted positively on my personal and spiritual life. I give God all the praise. The program has also ignited the fire in me for Christ Jesus. I give God the glory. And right now, I'm on fire for Christ. In addition to that, this week, to be precise, on the 12th of August, 12th of August, I will be 20 years in marriage with my friends, my best friends, and the love of my life. Over the years, the Lord has done marvelous things in our lives, and he has been faithful to us. I give him glory, and I pray for more beautiful years in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Mrs. Helen Alfred. I, came to re I come to return glory to the God of this commission for his faithfulness in my life and the life of my family. Praise the Lord. Um, 2018, uh, to, uh, 25th October 2018, the devil shot an arrow a lot of people in this church may be thinking, why I'm walking like this? Was it an accident? It was not an accident. The devil came to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But the Lord Jesus was there to save me. I was in my shop. I was very active that day. I went to my shop to do my work. I have a salon then. I was working on somebody, I did somebody's head, I did the second one. I had a very sharp pain at my back, and I had another one at my waist. I said, let me sit down. What is happening to me? As I sat down, there was this wild wind that blew around. And as the wind was blowing, it was like my life is going. Something was tied on my waist, and as the wind was blowing, the rope is tying and... I switched to tongue. The Holy Spirit came and he helped me. I began to speak in tongues. I said, ah, devil, you are a liar. You cannot take my life. You, are, you, you will not make, you will not use me as an experiment. I cannot be an experiment in your hand. They will be posting in the Facebook, this woman came to shop before you know she is dead. It is not possible. I switched to tongue. I did not know anybody in my environment. I saw the devil and death face to face. 
I began to speak and I brought out, I told my girl, because I couldn't stand up again, I told my girl, bring my anointing oil in my back. He brought it out. I said, splash on my leg, splash on my head. And he splashed it and I begin to speak. I speak in tongues for like minutes and I did not know myself. And I told her, bring my phone. I called the bishop. The bishop did not even understand. The bishop said, leave that place and go to the hospital. When you reach hospital, let me know. It was that moment I realized that I could not walk again. I sat down and I told people, I said I cannot stand up. Hefty men, two of them were not, were not able to jack me and put inside car. They put me in one car and they took me to one hospital to another. They keep on rejecting me till I reach the teaching hospital. When I reached teaching hospital, I was praying and I called the bishop. Everybody, heaven was bombarded with my prayer. And I was, in short, the devil was at work and he was he was coming as and i thank god my faith did not shake and the holy spirit was with me and when they it's time they said they want to took me to a theater they want to operate god sent an angel when the man came in now look at my family look at everything he said what are you taking this woman to theater for she did not fall she did not have an accident you want to go and open a segment of spinal cord at the end of the day she will not be able to walk Put her on bed rest. They describe a bed rest for me. They describe a water, water bed for me. I was lying straight like this. I couldn't turn myself. I was bedridden for three months. I couldn't know myself, but my faith was there. God and the Holy Spirit was with me. I did not shake. And I told God that if you save my life, that I will go around and testify of your goodness. My brethren, I want to thank God for Pastor David. Pastor David and the wife were coming. I told them, bring complicated, the last complicated communion for complicated matter of that year. They brought to me in the hospital and I took it. I was not able to turn. If somebody does not turn me, I cannot turn. If somebody did not change my diaper, I wear adult diaper for four months. I didn't know when I poo, I didn't know when I pee. When I was discharged, they told my husband, they are going to discharge your wife. Buy a wheelchair, my husband whip. When they want to whip me, they will tie me one big belt. That belt will connect my upper body and my lower body. Today, I am not tying any belt. Today, I can walk. Today, I can walk. If you are here in this church and you don't have a relationship with God and you don't have a relationship with the Holy Spirit, you are just wasting your time. I want to thank all the women in this church. I want to thank the pastorate. I want to thank my mommy. I want to thank my bishop. I want to thank everyone. They supported me. Women came to the, 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 to the hospital. They prayed with me. Mrs. Uso, God will bless you. She came and they were praying with me. Everyone, I cannot mention name. But I know the Lord will bless you all. I want to appreciate my husband. He was there with me. During that time, it was the time of election. They wanted to cut short my life so that they said he has taken me to do ritual. But God uphold him. He was with me. There was a day I wanted to give up. He said, you are not giving up. They encouraged me and my space back up. The day Bishop visited me in the service, in the hospital, somebody died. And I told them that my Bishop just visited me. This person cannot die. Pray and call back our life. They prayed and they prayed. This person was dead. The doctors have given up. They cover her. I say, you people should not cover her. This, she is going to come back to life. I cannot go and tell my bishop that you came to the hospital and somebody died. Behold, within 30 minutes, that lady came back to life. I return the glory to the God. If you are here in this church and you don't give your life to God today, you are wasting your time. You can face the devil any day. Any day you see the devil... It is what is inside of you that will help you to overcome the devil. I have come to return the glory to God of this commission for his faithfulness, for his grace in my life. Praise the Lord. And let's stop our students in the Bible school. Church, praise the Lord. I want to thank God for the goodness of God in my life and in my family. Uh, this is my fifth month in this church. In March, before the lockdown, I and my husband joined this place. I want to thank God for 
his goodness for even giving me the strength during this PBI. I was strengthened. It was God all true. I couldn't have sat down all true for that 10 days. But God gave me the strength. Secondly, after mommy gave us her first teaching on home affairs, I got home and I, you know, we're having some issues during the month of July. It was like one week, one trouble, one week, one trouble. So I started practicing what mommy had taught. And it was like my husband was looking at me and he would try to, let me see if this thing is working. And but I want to thank God for his goodness, for the peace in my home, for everything God has done for us. I give God all the praise for the teachings. I bless God for the teachers. God will bless all of you. Daddy, God bless you. Mommy, God bless you. Pastor Dan, God bless you. And secondly, tomorrow is my marriage anniversary. I want to give God all the praise. Testimony has a way of duplicating itself. In the process of home affairs, somebody got a car. I believe that you are here this morning and you know God also will visit you and give you your own gift. Why not raise up your hands and lift up your hands unto the Lord and appreciate him. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. We we'll call on PBI to their song ministration. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is a faithful God. We are, we are here to appreciate Him for seeing us through these 10 days. Hallelujah. Celebrate with us this morning. Hallelujah. Jam those saints together for Jesus. The goodness of the Lord is all around. Make me want to dance.
Hallelujah. It is time for them to come and give their special thanksgiving, PBI, to come and give their special thanksgiving. Let's appreciate God for them. Gentlemen of
Hallelujah. This is the best set of Bible schools. From the day one of the school to the last day, they were all excited. Hallelujah. And in number, there are more. In number, and we have a widow in a diploma and a widow in a intensive. But people of various classes, Dr. Wenike, as busy as he is, he still attended Bible school. An illiterate, I mean, someone who could not write, attended Bible school. Many people were here from all over the place, from Mirua, from inside the town. People attend Bible school. We are glad for your performance. And we have been told that you gave us 50 bars of cement for the work. Clap for them. <laughs> Clap for them. You don't plenty of money. If all of them pray for them, that God will reward them. Yeah, pray for them, that God will reward them. And they still brought Thanksgiving offering. Pray for them, that God will reward them. Some people are sitting down. We are praying for others. You don't have to sit down. You don't have to be a graduate to be pray. Stand up and pray for your friends. In Jesus' name we are praying. You have sown in faith, you reap in joy. The knowledge you have garnered in this school will not leave you in Jesus' name. The fire you have received in this school will not go down. More fire, more grace. We shall hear good of you. You will belong to a unit in the church, whatever you belong to, whatever you are, and you worship God in the spirit and the truth. You will be an evangelist, be a pastor, be an people will walk out and flood the devil. Wherever you are, the devil cannot stand. Now, apart from the 50 bars of cement, you still brought your personal offering. Be rewarded of God. In Jesus' name. Oboma, who is excited to be in this awesome service shout a loud hallelujah for the awesome testimonies and celebration in our midst can we just give God some praise some more hallelujah as our custom is we have awards for all our students personally from our daddy can we please celebrate them I'd like to invite our mommy please mommy will come and help me out with this if you guys can just Kelvin Let's just come to the altar here. As I call your name very quickly, you come and receive an award. Chikwere Gideon, as I call their name, please let's celebrate God. As I call your name, come out very quickly. Chikwere Gideon, Ajuku Uchechuku, Philomena John Eneberi. In that order, in that order, Peter Clifford, Ruth Sunday, Jennifer Onoha. Sister Uche was the assistant class prophet. Can we celebrate her? Philomena John is in Eberi, Peter Clifford, Ruth Sunday, Jennifer Onoha, Ehechere Mazu Chidima, Adidi John. If you can come in that order, please. Ajayi Edward, EJ Paul, Effion Patrick, Sunday Sabbath, Ima Alpha. Joseph Chukwemeka Samuel, Esther Oken Uduebo, Melvin Chijoke Gabriel, Elendo Amina. Elvis, Melvin Chijoke, Gabriel, Elendu Amina, Kristen Iwizo, it's not here, Rita Agbonvari, Nancy Onwa Kenneth, 
Adego Doris, Egbewe Queen Osayuki, Ikedia Shi Chioma, Ikedia Shi Lawrence, Ikedia Shi Rosemary. She's collecting on behalf of her husband. Philomena Porobunu. We have a family of a mother and her two children. Can we celebrate them specially? Philomena Porobunu, Ellen Ime Alfred, Tari Okolose, Christy Ebeneza. Mrs. Ime Alfred, you could just stay here while mommy could give you your own gift. Philomena. Helen Ime Alfred. Can we celebrate this woman once again? Tari Okolose, Christy Ebeneza, Okaka Lilian Kelechi, Ronyi Chidoziem, Okeria Okowari Yahu, John Wet Uduebo, Comfort Monday Ezezebo, Ezezobo, Farisa Angela, Moses F. Young, Aldo Zion, Sebo Nkem Patrick, Sebo Nkechi Juliet, Dapa Moses, Una Princess, Dokas Onu, Sir Angela Moses F. Young, Aldo Zion, in that order, Sebo in Ken Patrick, Sebo in Kechi Juliet, Dapa Moses, Una Princess, Dokas Onu. Bro, Isebo Patrick was a class prophet of the intensive class. Let's celebrate him. And then within the intensive uh, class, we have two couples that attended together. I would like to specially recognize them. Mr. and Mrs. Oduebo and Mr. and Mrs. Patrick Isebo. Let's celebrate them as they come together to collect their awards. Couples, Mr. and Mrs. Uduebo. Okay, that's Mr. and Mrs. Patrick Isebo. Mr. and Mrs. Patrick Isebo. Can we please celebrate them? God bless you. And Mr. and Mrs. Uduebo. Let's celebrate them as well. And I will go to the diploma class. Uh, Pastor Wenike, Sonny. Rockwa Chiwendu. Let's celebrate them. The Ken Chiwendu was the class prophet of the diploma class. Pastor Michael Emeka. Mrs. Ologboye Funke. Now, Mrs. Ologboye was an assistant class prophet, and she's been specially awarded for completing intensive leadership and diploma within one year. Let's celebrate her. Pastor Asiwe Monday is not here. Mrs. Hadiza Wokem. Come on, let's celebrate her. She's been specially awarded as well for completing the intensive leadership and diploma class within one year. She just joined the church in January this year. Undukwe Chinatu, Geraldine Ejerewa, Omelebele Anthonia, Rosemary Ezedike, Ejike Ejoma, Philip Philip, Gabriel Oluwale, Eboime John. We 
Modestus as an MA, Abigail Dasetima of Fure Princess. Now, Bro Gabriel Lowole is being specially awarded for attending the three trials intensive diploma and leadership within one year. Let's celebrate him as well. She attended the leadership on a diploma in quick succession. Let's celebrate her as well. Let's give God praise as we rise on our feet and receive our Father the Lord. For all your eyes have seen good report, plenty of testimonies. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. La Corali Marado. Wave your hand and thank God for the beautiful ceremony that God has helped us to end carefully and perfectly by, your, by His power. In Jesus' name we pray. As your eyes have seen this colorful graduation, those who have not done February, may there be strong motivating your heart to do in Jesus' name. And for those who have graduated, more fire, more grace, more strength in Jesus' name. Lord, as we hear your word briefly, speak to us afresh in Jesus' name. Please be seated. Many homes have been renewed, and I'm happy that uh, those so have more fire because of what they have learned in Jesus' name. For those who are not married, you have bought gift for your partner very soon. The man or woman will appear in the name of Jesus. Purpose and potential, part two. That was what we treated last week. In few minutes, I'll just summarize what we see after we can go. We learned last week about purpose is God's intent for making us. We are not here. Uh, even if your mother made the mistake for lying down with your father and you, they say they were not want the, the, your family, the family planning, it failed or they didn't plan for your coming and you arrived. You have arrived, you have arrived, you have arrived. God has a plan in your life. So don't think you are a product of chance. We also learned that Purpose is what you originally you are planned to be, but potential is the ability to read the top. A car can run 200 kilometers per hour, but Nigerian rules, if you try it, you go to air fire, you go, you die for nothing, because the roads of Nigeria are full of gallows. So even though the car can read 200 kilometers per hour, our roads do not allow it. So the car, when you are driving it, you don't drive to 120, you use 180, otherwise, if you go to 160, 180, to come in some assault because our roads are not as smooth as those who make those cars. So, even if you have not reached your potential and you are alive, you will get there. Yeah. We learn that God has put a seed of greatness in anybody. Please hand upon your chest and say, I have a seed of destiny. I have a seed of greatness. I shall be great. Nothing will stop me. I will not die small. In Jesus' name. So we learn that there's a seed of greatness in everybody. And like Father Abraham, you know, two things we took care of Father Abraham. They said, His blessing shall be as plenty as the sun. Can you count sun? His blessing shall be like the stars in the sky. You can't count stars. So as Abraham, blessing cannot be counted. You, a product of Abraham, your blessings cannot be counted. Yeah. Are you selling so in my, so my market, Are you selling granola? From that place, God will shoot you higher. I don't know what business you are selling. You won't die young. You won't die small. You will live and have branches of that work all over the world in Jesus' name. Today, let's move on in a few minutes. We must know our resources. What are we going to use to make the potential? What are we going to use to get the purpose established? What am I using now? I'm using the word of God. I'm using the wisdom of God to preach on this altar. In your area, you will have equipment and tools you use. Note the following about resources. One, God has made provision for everybody, poor and rich. God has made provision. Whoever is living on this earth, God has a plan for you. So he will make sure you meet men and women who will assist you to do that business. Please don't die a low voice. Find 
who can help you to make that business a reality. You may have the a vision, you may not have the money, but there are people you meet for the money who will help you to do the job. There are people now who, who connect people to others. They just connect them, they do the business, and they get a profit without struggling. God has made provision for everything we need already in this world. Some become rich and become poor. Why? People have talents. They are not using this. Others have talents. They are triggering them. Some have talent. They have buried it. Until you let your talent move, work, and meet people, this is what I can do. Then you show them how you are, uh, your work is. You may not have the money, but you have the idea. See, if you have the idea, you cannot be stranded. If you have the idea, because that idea, sell the idea, and tell them, see what you have. If you may buy the idea, please don't die with that idea itself. See what I say. Wealth and poverty are primarily based on say after me, what we do say that what we do with what we have and what we know say what we do what we have what we know those are the things that will determine your success you want to succeed in life you want to succeed in life what you have say after me, what you do with it and what you know so if you know something use it if you have something find out you can use it don't sit down with your knowledge. Don't sit down with your information. Trade your information for money. Trade your information. There are some things you know now, which if you tell somebody, you apply it, and you can add money to it, and you do it. Some people have wisdom and ideas, and they may not have the money. Find those who have the money who can help you. And in case you have some things, start from where you have. Be guest, borrow $200 to do experiment. And the person that gave him $200, dollars so say $200, he didn't have to borrow something to do something. And from there, he started. Number one, God has made provision for everybody. Number two, wealth and property depend on what you have with what you do and what you know. Number three, God gives all resources to live on, not to live for. Don't pursue material things. Remember that God is the one who helps you to survive. Some will leave the church, leave house, uh, what house on Sunday to go to do business. No God. Put God first in your business. That's what I'm saying. If you don't put God first in your business, the business will not succeed. Tell about put God first in your business. Except God is number one in your business, you can't prosper. Whoever neglects God and does other things, his energy will be in vain. Please, if you want to succeed, God gives all resources. Don't let your shop, don't let your market, don't let your business enter you that on Sunday morning, every service, you want to go to the market without God. If God is not there, you say, that, that lady said, without the Holy Spirit, come make it in life. See, if you are here, you, you have died in the hospital. The knowledge of God plus the men of God that helped me to pray. I went to the hospital, and you just, I went to the house with some pastors, and we dealt with the devil. And I used to call them a phone. Alpha, please don't be a low voice. Tell them, don't be a low voice. Number four, the proper use of your resources release your potential. If I take hammer now and begin to hit this glass, it will break. Hammer is not meant for glass. Hammer, the, imp the proper use of your resources is release your potential. But the improper use it's abuse of potential. If someone will use hammer to hit his head, you don't, that way, you don't need to bow. Get, get clipper, but take hammer to do something else. To spread it. Because hammer is made for wood. But if you use hammer for glass now, you break it. There are things to use screw to, to put this glass in place, not by hand, not by hand. So any equipment you use that is not of it, you will spoil the machine. Imagine that if I use my knife to be turning my car this thing, and I put the knife inside, the knife broke inside. Break, broke inside. I would like to turn the car. The car key is there. So if you use knife to turn your car and it is it has a problem, you are spoiled the ignition. Next point. We have many resources we are not using presently. We have many what? There are many things around us we are not using. People are there now who they can trade inside this protocol and make money. They want to go to Dubai. Some just look around. There are some business to do. Someone say if you want to cheat in Nigeria, put the thing in the book. They won't read. Put any idea in the book. Don't read it. It's just quick money. Quick money. Nobody wants to read. And that's why Nigerians are not reading. If you enter a plane, 
many Nigerians are sleeping when you are going abroad. Check white man. One novel, one small girl, one novel, black one. Six hours, you'll be sleeping. That white man is reading. Check it. When you travel, when you are going outside the country, check those who are reading. And those who are not reading. Black man want to sleep. How do you maintain the environment? Because if you are in the wrong place, this church is in Abuja now. God has it as of the day. He will stand. He will be fighting you. So this church, Kelly Podako, is standing because I'm bishop. God asked you to come here. Anything God has not asked you to do, you are doing on your own. That's why Jonah had to pay his fare when he went to Tashi. He said, I like Tashi. And he suffered there. They put inside the uh, listen, he slept in the body inside the fish for three days. Please put your hand upon your forehead. No one will do business. God has not apportioned him. Say amen now. Any journey God has not sent you, you will not go. Any business God is not involved with, you will not do in Jesus' name. For one night, we will not steal your money. In Jesus' name. Yeah. The first time MMA was introduced to a bookshop woman, she started, she was interested. She said, Mommy, I have a new business. My wife said, Well, she, is it an No address, it will be online. My wife said, I'm interested. From day one, it's a spirit, if you are spiritual, it's pretty really catchy. Till they left, my wife said, It won't work. It won't work. Anywhere you can't see the business, is online. And actually, from day one, I didn't even know she just to MMA. MMA. And I me, mean, I'm not even interested in the, the church you have. I, I have not grown the church looking for money to double. I didn't they just told me I wasn't interested. Nobody could even tell me as a bishop, come and be interested. They told my wife, my wife, I'm not doing that grace to discern between good and evil. Receive it now in Jesus' name. From day one, she rejected it. And anybody, she didn't introduce anybody. There. Don't, don't do, don't. He kept telling people not to do. So, how do we determine the value? One. God designed everything to function in the specific environment. The best in the air. The best? The animals? The fish? Put fish here, whatever. So never try to uh, uh, mismanage things by going to the wrong environment. That's why anyone now who go to America to do ministry, God has sent him. In the Atlantic Ocean, we throw inside the, inside the sea. They just, they just kill you for nothing. And that's why some people go to some places, the arm rubber hit them. I've spent 10 years now, nobody has harassed me because I'm sent here. Next point number two. The condition under which you function determines how you succeed. And I'm telling you, the best condition is to see God as your number one partner. Whatever you are doing, make God. If God is number one, selling Gary, selling Yab, you allow God to be number one. You pay your tithe to God. You serve God with what you have. God will promote the business. Some people have been doing business for 10 years. I'm Robert has never been said that. Others now decided yesterday, I'm Robert have carried everything they have. Well, sister, your own is different because that prayer I pray for you will get a solution. God can allow some I'm Robert to come to your place. And when it turns in, they will die, but God will increase your blessing. But if you are not a Christian, you are not serving God. Your shop is not sure. Fire can enter it. But if you are a Christian and you know you have done your best, I'm not still came. God has a way of paying you back. Say here because there will be restoration for those who have lost something. Say me somebody. The condition to be in that environment is that whatever you are doing, let the prince of God be there. Whatever you are doing. Next point. There are four things you need if you want to succeed in an environment. Whether you are trading, you are marketing, oil and gas. One, say trust. Trust, trust God and trust men. Two, faith. Three, forgiveness. Four, obedience. If you know how to forgive people, let them go. Don't tie people. Somebody hit your car, come and pay for it. Somebody don't come and pay for it. Any small thing, damage, come on. No, there's nothing. Let go and let go. Let go. Please. Four things you need in your business and your life to live in the good environment. Say faith. Trust. Forgiveness and obedience. If these four things are with you, you will find that you live a good environment. You are angry here. Somebody will anger you. You don't know how to forgive. You will just be bearing malice, bearing malice up. And as you bear malice up, things will not work. Two more. Number five. Keep God's word on your lips to create a positive atmosphere. I shall not die. This business will prosper here. Things will work here. A boy did NYC and went to work in a place. They say they are owing the company. Every company that came here uh, worked and they scattered. The boy said, let's organize four 
all night for four Friday. They did for all night things stop. And when the boyfriend in NYC, they retained him as a staff. Please, I don't know the environment we are in. Let God be your number one. Lastly, a wrong environment destroys potential. A wrong environment? I don't know what you want God to do, but if you go to the wrong environment, things will not work. If you are living in a place where there's brought up and you are the only one there, look for another accommodation. Because in all of your area, there are all, uh, people smoking and drinking and fornicating. They will be tempting you. Leave the accommodation, whether it's an inspire or not. I'm going to play maybe when you move there, you know. But to believe in a place where every day you see you move, you're not here, you're causing here, doing evil hotel, you won't like it. So if you have a bad environment and you are living there, you'll be polluted, you'll be dreaming bad dreams. Am I talking? So leave a wrong environment. Leave what? If you can't change it, if you can't change the environment, I want to stop here because level 25, shall we close? You're not happy. I say, shall we close? Jump on your feet and say, I say, how are you? How are you? Lift your hand above you and give him praise. Next Sunday, we'll come and hear more. Give him praise. Give him praise. Today is your day. Today is your day. Pray, pray, Lord. Lead me correct to correct environment to do my business. Lead me to what? The correct environment. Lead me to the correct environment. Lift your hand and make that prayer. Lord, we pray for all our members. There is an environment that will make our business good. That environment, wherever it is, shows the environment. Lord, show us the environment. Where we do business and not so far. Lord, show us the good environment. Where we do our business and not so far. You won't do business with 419. You won't do business with armed robbers. You won't do business with Aya Assassin. In the name of Jesus. But if a man is not money again and he's doing business, <coughs> he's in trouble. Because without Christ, there is crisis. Yes, you are here as a first time worshiper. Today is your first Sunday of worshiping in assembly. Somebody graduating asks you to come. Quickly come. I'll pray for you. First time worshiper. You want to be born again? Come. First time worshiper. This way. glad to have all of you around and I'm happy that you are here but I don't know what you want we we'll give you a room to express your mind to God while the church stretch their hand and pray for you you know what you want God to do for you close your eyes and talk to God brethren why they pray for them say you stretch your hand and pray for them that whatever they have desire God will not disappoint them today 9th of August they will go back home rejoicing brethren pray for them you in front pray for yourself you have a reason for coming that God will meet your need you have a reason for coming Something must happen to you as you come today. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Close your eyes as I pray. Everyone in front, we are glad you are here. But in case as you are standing in front, somebody invited you to come to the church. But you know inside your heart, you have been going to churches, you have been hearing the word of God, but you have never made a personal commitment to say, Jesus, I want to be your child. I've been a Christian before, Bishop, I basled, but now I'm a patient. I want to renew my life and dedicate my life. Raise your right hand above your head. You are not sure of your Christianity is up, up and down. You say, Bishop, today, I want to renew my life with God. Raise your right hand up, I'll, I'll pray for you. You want to renew your life with God? Anyone in church? Say, Bishop, yeah, God bless you. Close up. Close up your hands. Free your child. We'll pay for you. God bless you. 
You want to renew your life with God and say, I want to serve you better. Yes, raise up your hand. God bless you. I pray for you. Good. Raise up your hand. No, wait, no, no, no. Close your eyes. Close your, say, Lord Jesus, I give my life to you. Forgive my sins. Make me a Christian. Wash me with your blood. From today onwards, I will live and serve you. I am born again. In Jesus' name. For all of you, close your eyes as I pray. Father, this one have come as first time worshippers. They have a desire. Whatever you came with, came for as a challenge. I decree and declare that the hand of God shall be mighty upon your life in Jesus' name. Sister, sister, do you raise up your hand for that prayer? Follow, 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 follow them. Place your hand on my chest. All of you, place your hand on my chest. Whatever brought you to this church, the God will serve. You give your answer that today, 29th of August, I declare by the time the day is over, your answer has come. In Jesus' name. We have a gift for you as a first timer. Please follow this area. Attend to me. Yeah. I've got my mind. I've got my mind. your hand above your head. May this message profit you. May God help you know the purpose for your living and how to arrive at the potential while you are alive so that you will not die with anything hidden in Jesus' name. And if there's anything blocking your vision, blocking your destiny and your future, by this prayer, may they be scattered in Jesus' name. See clearly, hear clearly, and understand the will of God. Can you run to the front? Can you run to the front? Run to the front. Run to the front. Can you pay the coach? How are you? Are you? How are you? Steve, how are you? What about you? 72 in November? Yeah, yes. 72 in November. How many children? Eight. Nine children? Ten. Ten. See, I like strong. Give me a hand. Steve bouncing. Steve bouncing. Lift your hand about Lord, I want to be bouncing all day my life. 72, you still be bump, bouncing. Lift your hand and pray. Lord, we receive grace for longevity of life here. Yeah. Long life is our portion. No one died before their time. In Jesus' name we are praying. Hallelujah. Somebody make a loud noise to the Lord. Is offering time. Psalms 4 verse 5. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. Let's package our tithe, our offering, and every other kingdom investment we came with. We had the testimony of our sister that bought a gift for the husband. By the reason of obedience, she got a car, a choice, an opportunity to make a choice for a car. I trust God this morning as you obey God through your tithe, through your offering this week, you will not go empty handed. If you have packaged your tithe and offering, let's be on our feet as you begin to speak a word to your tithe, to your offering. The word of God in Psalm 4 verse 5 says we should put our trust in God. As you trust God through your tithe and your offering this week, God Almighty will remember you. Father, we we'll thank you for another opportunity to give. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Everlasting God in heaven, we bless your name for this great privilege to give. We decree that this week your favor will pursue us, will overtake us. Whatsoever we lay our hands upon shall prosper and flourish we all shall return with diverse testimonies in jesus mighty name we have prayed hallelujah <laughs>
In this service, shout a better hallelujah. Please pay attention to the following announcement very quickly. Tomorrow, Monday, the prayer network members will resume their weekly prayer meetings. The prayer network is a unit committed to be praying for the church. It is open to everyone, and the time is 5 p.m. Our midweek service hosts this Thursday at the time is 5 p.m. We'll be learning how to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. It promises to be a time of encounter in the world and in prayers. Ensure you don't miss it. This is to announce a special minister conference hosted by the Transformational Bishops Fellowship, which our Father and the Lord is the president over. Clap for Jesus. <laughs> it takes place next week, Monday 17th to Tuesday 18th August, and the time is 9 a.m. daily. And the theme is Transform 2020. It is open to everyone, and it promises to be a great time of impact for the body of Christ. We'll be playing host to different ministers from different denominations. We therefore call all our church workers to be available to serve for this program. Also, exam ministers conference takes place on Monday 24th of August and the time is 12 noon. Church workers are still needed for that as well. Next Sunday is an anointing service, anointing for vengeance, aka don't take no for an answer. Clap for Jesus. Our services, our service time, 7 a.m. first service, 8.30 a.m. second service, and 10 a.m. third service. Please don't come alone. Invite your friends and others. Our online children's service streams on Facebook and YouTube today by 1 p.m. Parents are reminded to ensure their children are part of it and share the link with others as well. Good news. As announced last Sunday, Paysetters Christian Assembly is launching a new branch in Asabadeta State. We encourage everyone to pray towards it. If you, have, if, you have a friend, if you have friends and loved ones in Asaba, please inform them about the new church. More details about the launch will be passed in due course. Also, if you didn't indicate interest in partnering towards this mission last week, you can request a pledge from the ushers. Another good news. About a beautiful baby girl was born into the family of Mr. and Mrs. Shedrach Induka. On Friday, 7th August 2020, the covenant meeting takes place on Friday, 14th August, and the time is 5 p.m. The address is flat 3, Be Good Lodge, number 1, Be Good Close, off Farm Road, by 4 Square Junction, Rumuduru, Port Harcourt. This is 40, please take note, and everyone is invited. Our youth church, Catalyst Church, begins a new series today with the team, Nigeria and I. It is a series to look at the state of our nation, and learn how to thrive and make a difference. It promises to be, to be very enlightening and impactful. Today we'll be, today we'll be having a, a special guest minister. Our youth service takes place immediately after this service. Please do well to attend. You shall be the next to be announced your word in the name of Jesus. Watch this video clip for the media team. Okay, people, it's another brand new series at Catalyst called Nigeria and I. And we're out here on the streets of Pohaka today to find out from our youth and our young ones what they think about Nigeria. So first off, we'll be asking the question, if you had to describe Nigeria in just one word, what would it be? Let's hit the streets and find out. Remember the road that will lead you home. Oh, 
Nigeria is a scam. Nigeria is a ruler coaster. Nigeria is a If there was anything you could change about Nigeria, what would it be? I cannot change anything in Nigeria because you cannot change human reasoning. You change the situation of the country. Ah, uh, one thing. I think we need to change our judiciary. Okay. If, if you go come up for Nigeria, you go like come back. Are they Chris? <laughs> if I see who go help me come uh, go, are they now they go bury me? Okay, so we've heard it from the mouths of our very own youth. Different opinions. What do you think about Nigeria? This Sunday at Catalyst, we're kicking off the series Nigeria and I. It's going to be life changing and life transforming, helping us get to better appreciate our values. Call for the part one of the program. 20 minutes to 12 now. If you are staying this one, nobody did Bible school, the attended evening service. So, one and a half hour inside the uh, people, uh, the catalyst will not be uh, too much. Please, these are things we are learning here and there, and you learn from what you see. Somebody say, if from what you hear and what you see, you are not learning, something wrong with you. So I will learn from what I hear and what I see. That's life. Don't just go through life and keep quiet. There's a thing you see, you learn. There's a thing you, you, you watch, you learn. Lift your hand for all these powerful blessings, testimony we have had today. Good report everywhere. This Bible school is over. But good report is 